Yeah, man, I, I, I okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice ride, right? Man, this is beautiful. I can't beautiful. believe you can afford all of this. Yeah, man. Serious? This is about three months of uh, offer collection. <laughs> three months, three months. <laughs> Uh, something that they're looking forward to or they're dreading in the next like month. A something you're wedding. Uh, what's that? A friend's wedding. A friend's wedding. Oh yes. Who, who are these two friends? My wife's best friend and some guy. Some My guy. wife's <laughs> best friend and some guy. Are, are you are you excited or dreading this wedding? Dreading. Dreading. Okay, cool. Uh, no, that's okay. Uh, if you had to describe both the bride and the groom with like one word, just one word, how would you describe them? Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Uh, no. Ah, arrogant and innocent. Marital bliss. <laughs> Just wondering, is there anything you're imagining or looking forward to eating while you're there? Ooh. They better have pot roast, man. You let me know if they don't. I will say that's the first wedding I've ever heard of, like, we're having a pot roast. <laughs> we're going to be doing a scene for you guys about this wedding. We're gonna see it in five, four, three, two, one. I cannot believe this day is here. Can you? Yeah. You know, another day, another dog. No. And this ring, you did such a good job. Picking Show that off. That's about like three weeks worth of uh, offer collections at the church right there. <laughs> Yeah, I did my thing on that one. I did my thing. I'm sorry, but like, I thought you you did such a good job. Like, you worked for this. Oh, a lot. <laughs> how, do I, how do I look at my suit? How do I look? How do yeah. I look? But where did you get the diamond? Baby, there's a lot of things that I do that I just can't tell you about. <laughs> this is about me, all right? <laughs> no job is for Look good. Show off the ring and say I do, all right? I'm your Proverbs 31 woman. Can, can you say I do? I do. I'm your Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, Sarah, I just want you to one day just find a man that's going to treat you with respect. Like, I want a man who's going to treat you right the way you deserve to be treated. And that guy you're with right now, like, he, he's not the guy. All right, he's, he's an arrogant, he's rude, he obviously steals money somehow because he's always loaded. I don't know what he does, but he somehow works for a church, and I need, I just need you to know, I, I know it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. He always shows you to tell it off. Yes, Tells he, to show it off. he does. <laughs> okay, um, what are you saying? I'm saying that you can do better. All right, you, you, are, you are worth more than this. You can do better. There are 7.6... Johnny, 7. we 6. broke up five years ago. I realize. But there are 7.6 billion people on this planet. Get rid of him, find a new one. Are you trying to say something about you and me? Nope, I'm your dad, so we're not your dad. <laughs> I realized that wasn't very clear, but... No, it wasn't, Dad. It really wasn't. Okay, but the thing is, the rehearsal dinner is... It's tonight, and I know. you got me this, this ring. I know, and for some reason, your, your fiancé wanted pot roast. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> this is a nice ride, right? Man, this is beautiful. I can't Dude. believe you can afford all of this. Yeah, Are you man. This is about three months of um, offer collection at the church. <laughs> three months, three months. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. You know, I, I hate my wife, my fiance's dad, man. I, I feel like he's very jealous. I feel like he's telling her she can do better, things of that nature. Talking about the redhead guy? Yeah. You know that I was saying wrong. <laughs> Okay, cool, he's, cool. He's, he's fake. Oh, no, every time I see him, he's always giving me gifts and everything. He's what's happening now? What's happening? Oh, oh snap. Yeah, we're on interstate. I'm just saying, hey, okay. Okay. fans. Okay. Some of the members of the church like to see me. They don't like me right, driving. Right, right, right. You know? okay. So we, we, you we kill get, it on Sundays. I'll be killing it. You kill it but on did Sundays. Did you hear the sermon I did on wolves and sheep's clothing? Tell me again. I was back to that serving. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, today uh, we will be hearing about the wolves in sheep's clothing. I know everyone's really excited for the sermon. Uh, you are, yeah, you're ready to come in. If you open up your Bible to the book of John, all right, I'm about to weave in a sermon about 
paying the tithe, all right? <laughs> if you can all pull out your wallets and put them in the air really quick. <laughs> There's a verse somewhere in that book that talks about bringing all the tithes into my house, all right? <laughs> I'm going to send him around and just to collect. If you do not give unto this house, there is a place called hell, all right? <laughs> I'm not a wolf. I'm just, I'm just a shepherd leading my flock to the promised land. Can I get an amen? amen. All right, so everybody know I'm getting married, all right? I'm getting married, and um, thank you. <laughs> and there are some people in this flock that don't believe in my marriage. I, I never said that. All I said is that I want what's best for my daughter. There's been a little gossip in the church, and uh, I actually wanted to bring you before the church so you can actually tell them what you think of me and your daughter. Really baby, 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 <laughs> baby, your father wants to talk about how our marriage is going. Let him know. Tell us. Tell us and the church. This is a bonus part, so I, we need extra tithe for this, this part right here. Uh, all, all I'm, all I'm going to say is this feels very much uh, like an Old Testament uh, type of relationship. Uh, uh, but Daddy, uh, yes. Let's throw up the ring. He told me I'm his Proverbs 31 woman that is in the Old Testament. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say to that? Uh, I'm just saying that love is very patient, and uh, I, I hope that my, my beautiful daughter is very patient. Did that collection play make it back round? <laughs> All right, well, um, you are a grown woman, and you can make your own decisions, and if this is the decision that you decide, uh, the Lord is always watching. So, uh, I feel very conflicted right now. Yes, well, uh, pr proceed, Pastor. I'm going to actually bless my wife with the laying on of the hands, oil. <laughs> this feels weird. This feels so I very weird. Like <laughs> but yeah, that's how I mean, was fired, though. Know? You know what I mean? Bro, I was there. I remember because no. I was watching, like, he about to do it. Okay. He about to put pops on blast. Pops on blast, right? You, you saw him sweat. No, I no, saw him sweat. Drip, <laughs> drip. <drip. laughs> we collected so much money because you know they love marriage right, in the church right. right now. So we collected boatloads. Mm -hmm. How much? Let me see. We got do about five thousand members every week. About three hundred grand. Ooh, I'm gonna open the door, close it. Three hundred. A hundred of them went to the wheels on this car, my boy. Oh my God. Yes, the twenty-two. Twenty-two. Pastor. Uh, Pastor, how you how you on you on the highway? Are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> you driving? <laughs> Let me go and put that down. Oh, what's up? What's happening, my boy? Yo, brother, what's up, man? It's Sunday. What are you doing? Oh, we head down to uh, uh, Palm West Palm Beach for the wedding. You headed down? Yeah. Why are you driving to Miami right now? Oh, let me let me turn. Oh, I can't turn back. Right right. This way. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to West Palm Beach, Pennsylvania. <laughs> the only beach in an inland state. <laughs> Today we're celebrating Sarah and the other guy. <laughs> of their beautiful marriage. Uh, can we get a round of applause from the entire congregation? Uh, now, just so everyone knows, there is a pot roast in the back. It is one scoop per person. That's all we have here. Uh, enjoy the music. Listen, I told you we got to do pot roast today. This is chicken pot luck. I've been doing my best all day. What are we going to do about this thing? We, that was specifically requested by the, the, the bride's, um, um, the bride's s best friend's husband. And we lie. We lie. Why? It's that simple. You can do that in a church. Yeah. But <laughs> that isn't a sin at all. No. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, so okay. We, we it's a pot, pot roast. roast. Okay. It's a pot, pot roast. roast. And we're gonna serve this after after the vows. Okay. After the vows, and then we just we just serve it out real fast, and then no so, one right. No one takes a real good so look here's at the it. Thing. It's it's one it's one plate per and I'll dim the lights so no one can really see. <laughs> It'll be complete, almost dark. That's amazing. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's yeah. do that. Mood lighting. My thing is, 
there's, we have to individually serve one plate to each of them. So how are we going to serve these out without letting the wonderful people at this wedding know that it's, it's, it's you know, a chicken pot luck? Uh, 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 we do it as like a, like a little tapas plate, and it's just like, oh, oh, oh that's oh, that's all we have. Pot roast! Pot roast! Brilliant! Okay, we'll okay. do that. We'll okay, do that. Okay, right. okay, okay. You get that ready. I'll go dim the lights, too. Right, you dim the lights after the vows. After, after the, the vows. vows. Okay, good. Good, good. good, good. <laughs> it's our day. It's our day. I know. We are gathered here today. I didn't know your pops was going to do that. To celebrate <laughs> the Excuse marriage me. Me, of my daughter Sarah <laughs> and her choice. It's about her. You know what I'm saying? If there is anyone here who objects to their marriage, I'm me, me, I'm I object! I object! Man, I'm Sarah has not been faithful! Oh. Sarah! Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hi. I have something to say. And Sarah has actually been hanging out with Paul on Sundays during his sermon. Paul! Oh! oh. I thought you were Saul. When your name changed to Paul? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Right up under my door. Listen. It's true. Uh, Paul has been seeing Sarah for some time now. I. You gonna do me like that, Pop? Well, here's, the, <laughs> here's the thing. One, I am not your pops. And uh, uh, two, the money that you've been squandering from the church, Paul has been, in fact, putting it back into the church. <laughs> kind of a Robin Hood kind of thing. Uh, so you've been taking care of the flock. Listen, I understand that this comes at a, a ambidextrous moment for you. <laughs> but I need you to understand, all right? The life you're living, I don't want to go to hell, all right? But you went there with me the other day when we went down to Cancun with all the... Nah, nah, you, know what <laughs> you were with me. Listen, I seen you. So you thought I was with you. Flashback to that scene. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? I'm Paul. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, good to see you. Huh? <laughs> Hey, I ain't been in the sun a couple months, but I ain't got COVID. No, I mean, I've been in the sun a little bit too much. I like, you know what I'm saying? That's all right. I, I, I like it. Hey, we good. We, we good. good. We good. Man, cool, man. Cool, man. You know, I'm so excited. Where the ladies at? You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Is this one right? Right? Is that one? Right there? I keep that for hippopotamus. Okay. She can't run from us. She can't run from us. Hey, yo, boo. Hey, girl. Okay. Hey. No, she ran away. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So here's my idea. Here's my idea. You be pastor, okay. I'll be priest. All right. We can go bless some people. You know Man. what I'm saying? I we can go bless some people. You, got, hey, you did that service last week, right? Well, I'm an uh, actual assistant pastor, so I ain't been in front of the congregation yet. yet. <laughs> but I'm plotting, you know what I'm saying? Because the minute he start tripping, I'm whispering in the sheep. He'll be like, hey, pastor tripping. Look at your boy, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Notice well, me. Like the wedding. <laughs> uh, in fact, I have not been tripping. Um, I've been aware of all of your squandering at this parish, and I just... Paul, I give you my blessing to marry my daughter. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No. So y'all all know I've been stealing from the church. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, excuse me. You told me you worked for this, and if you didn't... I never really told you what my job was. I don't want it. I just pawned it, though. But hold I think there might be another... Uh, um, back, 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 back. Uh, uh, we don't have to squat. We don't have to fight for them. We don't have to fight for them. Listen, I'm hold on. Let me check you for a wire because I've been stealing. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm sorry, man. It's just when it comes to my fiance, my fiance's friend for the past 20 years since we were children. When did y'all meet? <laughs> All right now, children. 
Welcome to first grade Sunday school. <laughs> we are so happy to have all of you here. Today we're going to talk about being little sunbeams of Jesus, okay? <laughs> being bright little sunbeams. We need to let your light so shine, right? We need to let it glow. So shine. Right. So shine. Right. You're a really tall first grader. <laughs> yeah. Um... I ate my veggies, got eight hours of sleep. That's good. Wow. My mom, she's a, she's a nutritionist, so huh. I grew up. Huh. I grew up. Well, I see the spark of a little ray of friendship oh, here. Oh, good friendship, yes. Hey. Do you want to be friends? friends? Maybe you can weech things for me when I can't weech it because you're so tall. <laughs> oh, and like we can go on adventures. Yeah, that would be cool. One thing Honestly. my dad really likes me to let me do is count the offering money. Really? <laughs> and maybe I could teach you how we can learn numbers. Wait a minute, I was in that class too. <laughs> now listen, you can't keep coming in here late if you want to be on... If you want to stay on the straight and narrow path, remember how you told me you wanted to be a pastor? Yes. We can still make that happen, but you got to be on time. Okay. All right? Now, the biggest thing I want everyone here to learn today, mm. our dearest Sarah did tell us that her father taught her how to count the offerings. That I did. Yes. You so we. I can make them bills. Make Those bread. words by exact words, but yes. <laughs> In, in theory, yes, you can, but we are going to practice counting the offerings today. I brought Monopoly money. Ah, oh, lovely. Yes, so we're gonna- I have some crayons. Can I share them with Sarah? Oh, yeah, we love sharing. Uh, yeah, we yes, yes, we can. I think you're pretty, like, do you want to be my fingerprint buddy? Wait, she's my fingerprint I... buddy. Dad? Are you my dad? <laughs> no. He's just a very tall first grader. Oh, right. Back to the lady. Back to the lady. So Paul and Sarah have been best friends for 20 years. And in fact, I gave Paul my blessing the end of first grade. <laughs> I knew that his height and... We share finger paint. We're finger paint buddies. I think you're misremembering that moment. I told you his fingers could make bigger proof, so it was us. Yeah, you were busy wetting the bed at the time. Oh. I told you that was an issue that I can't get over. Yeah, but it lasted 15 years, brother. Also, I mean, if I'm really honest, I never I never liked the sandwiches you shared with me, and he brought me chips. Oh! Yeah. Oh. The relays, baked. Those sandwiches were my, my signature. Your mom couldn't this cook. Is, you know what? Oh, 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 the story doesn't end well for you, Judas. <laughs> Do it while you can. Sarah, Sarah, as yeah. the pastor of this wedding, only you can choose. We can't choose for you. Choose you. You choose uh, Paul, Judas, or this guy. I'm I'm we Judas. never established the name. So this Some guy. guy. I'm Some the guy. I'm this arrogant guy. You so, don't want him. Sarah, you, you have to choose. Mom, Remember when I gave you my apple? It mattered. Just like In fact, Sarah, I think we should let the congregation decide. Yeah. Dad, I think you're right. Congregation! Who has the best model walk? That's what you choose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a beat. If you choose to have Paul <laughs> Tudis, say I. If you choose the arrogant guy, say I. Oh, that's really sad. I'll okay, meet you guys in heaven. <laughs> it sounds pretty, it's really pretty even. It does. We are not a Mormon congregation. <laughs> we don't do that polygamy thing. Okay, oh. let's try this again. He is broke. For Paul, say aye. Aye. For the arrogant guy. Aye. Oh. Seems like there's more than one arrogant Your guy. Your father in the audience does not count. So. <laughs> By the power vested in me by God and this church, I pronounce you husband and wife. 
You may high five the bride. <laughs> So sorry. The pot I roast just got oh, the, no. the pot roast. The pot roast is. is hey, it was pot roast. Gone. Hey. hey.